Hello, welcome to another edition of Sun Dragon Tips and Tricks. I figured since I do most of my knitting at home, people often say, oh, you run a yarn shop, you must get so much knitting done. There is no time at the shop to get knitting done. There's so much stuff to do there. So I do a lot of knitting at home. And one of my ongoing projects, you saw it on the sideshow, if you're watching Sun Dragon Sideshow with Liz and I, is we're making papillons. The pattern by Maringa Knits. It's awesome. I'm in the middle of a row right now, so this may be hard to see, but I am trying to make a butterfly shawl, papillon butterfly, that actually looks like a monarch butterfly. I am using a color changing Cascade Heritage Wave. It's called Solar. And my Cascade Heritage Silk Real Black, darkest black we have in the shop. And one of the things I thought I'd show you all today is how to do a red and an orange square. This is part of the pattern is you, as Liz put it, you go across and you come back, you do short rows back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And then you go a little further, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That's what makes these really cool bubbles. And so I'd like to show you my technique for doing that, how I wrap and turn on this project, which is different than how I wrap and turn on, say, a project that is all stockinette, which is where all the V's are on one side and all the pearl bumps on the other. This has V's and bumps. This is garter. It's squishy. It's, it's got bumps on both sides. So a classic wrap and turn of a sort will, sh will be hidden. You'll be fine. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Um, I'm not going to show any part of the pattern here because uh, it is really important you have your own copy of the pattern. You can follow along with what we're doing if you do have that. And I will make sure I link to the Ravelry store where you can get Moringa's awesome pattern, Moringa Knits, Marin's often awesome pattern for yourself. Um, but there's, there's awesome math going on here. I'm gonna use the word awesome a lot today. I don't know. So come with me on my journey and I will show you what I do and I hope you will try it too with a full pattern. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so here's my best way to diagram what happens on a red square. I'll put it here. If you follow her directions, pay really close attention to if you're on the right side or the wrong side. But I'm just going to basically go over the general concept. It's going to be a lot easier when you see it. For some people, this is the perfect way to visualize it. For other people, seeing it when I do it with my hands later will be good. So, if you're on the wrong side and you knit back to where it's supposed to start, when you stop knitting and you're getting ready to do your wrap and turn, you should find yourself, um, these are the stitches, these little humps are my stitches, and the blue guys are my stitch markers. Stitch markers every 10 stitches if you follow her instructions. So when I start it, I'm going to be knitting this direction, and if I stop with the wrap and turn right before her instructions for a red square, I should be right about here, I should be have knit right up to here, I'll be two stitches away from a marker. I know I'm in the right spot if that's the case. My wrap and turn is going to happen around this stitch right here. Then it will say turn to the right side, the right side direction this way, and knit back eight, which will take you exactly to the marker. And you'll do a wrap and turn should say right side for that. Then it will say on the wrong side, knit 10. Guess what? 10 takes you all the way to this marker. And your wrap and turn will be here. Notice how the wrap and turns are two stitches away from each other. It feels because the the wrap gets sucked in. It might feel like you've only gone one past where you were last time, but your wrap and turns will end up being shifting two stitches each time. So again, it will do a right side, go eight, 
If you go eight, starting here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you're wrapping, you'll feel like you're three stitches away from the gap that the wrap and turn makes. But you're in the right spot because this wrap and turn ends up two stitches away. Then you're going to go back ten, which will put your next wrap and turn out here. And back this way eight. Put your wrap and turn there. Then over ten. Sense of rhythm here, right? Ten, put your wrap and turn out there. Eight, put your wrap and turn here. Ten, put your wrap and turn out there. Eight, put your wrap and turn over here. Don't worry, these won't feel like they're on top of each other because you won't see these guys. You keep, you keep knitting over them, you won't see them anymore. Ten, put your wrap and turn out here. Another eight puts your wrap and turn. It takes you, you, you knit right up to the marker and your wrap and turn is here. I should probably do those in separate colors, but it really, what you'll see on, you'll see a gap, 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 gap. There'll be six gaps and you'll be at a marker and you'll turn and you'll start knitting way off that way to do your next one. And your bubble that your wrap and turns create will be right there. All right, I'm ready to do a red square. Now let me show you first. The big knit across until you do the back and forth and back and forth will always be on the wrong side. And if I lose track of my count, which will happen a lot, I can go back and count because I will look for the last big gap from a, a, a wrap and turn will pull and make it look like a gap. When you knit back over it, you'll be fine. But that lets me know I don't count this one that was my wrap. To count how many I've knit, I'm going to start with this stitch and I'm going to count across. And these stitch markers are wonderful because then it's 10, 20, 30, 40. I gotta count these guys because I don't have groups of 10 right around the center. 42, 44, 45, that's my center. 46, 47, 48, 49, 59, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77. I was supposed to knit 77, that's great. Remember a red square is gonna start two stitches away from a marker. And here's how I do a wrap and turn. I'm going to bring my yarn forward between the needles, slip the stitch that's closest to the tip of your, ne your, your left needle over to the right, yarn between the needles to the back, slip that stitch back over to the left, yarn between the needles to the front. I have firmly wrapped completely around that slip stitch. That's my wrap and then I'm going to turn around to start going back the other way. I have throttled off that stitch. He's completely wrapped. And I'm gonna knit eight. Red square is eight on the right side, 10 on the wrong side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight takes me right up to a stitch marker. I am on track. I should be at a stitch marker on my red square at the end of my first right side row. I'm going to move it out of the way so I can do my wrap. Yarn to the front, slip the stitch over, yarn to the back, slip the stitch back, yarn to the front. Completely encircling that slip stitch. That's my wrap. Then I'm going to turn. Slip my stitch marker. I'm gonna go 10 stitches on the wrong side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's the gap. 10, it may feel like I'm one away from where I was last row, but I've, I've knit two more because the wrap creates a space that's one stitch over, which we have to do right now. Move that over, yarn to the front, 
slip, yarn to the back, slip back, yarn to the front, and turn. Get my yarn straightened out there. Slip this guy over. Right side. Right side is the clean side, I like to call it. The colors look really clean. That's the side for a red square. I'm only doing eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I am two stitches away from the marker. I am three stitches away from the gap. You'll feel like you're one to three stitches away from the previous gap, depending on your side. Yarn to the front, slip, yarn to the back, slip back, yarn to the front again, and turn. Whoop, yarn's getting stuck there. That can happen. Just take your time to untangle it. It's fine. Here's the muddy side. Here's the back side, the wrong side. And on the wrong side, red square, we do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, yarn to the front, slip, yarn to the back, slip back, yarn to the front, flip, straighten out the yarn, right side, that means ten. Oh, no, haha. <laughs> Have the instructions in front of you, it helps. The right side of a red square is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I look, I feel like I'm three away from the last gap, which is good because it means I'm two knit stitches away. You're under the front, slip, Yarn to the back, slip back, yarn to the front, and turn. Wrong side, red square, 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. You should always cross a stitch marker on an even number. You know you're on track then. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Yarn to the front, slip, yarn to the back, slip the stitch back, yarn to the front again, and turn. Right side, red square, eight stitches. One, two, three, four. Stitch marker, five, six, seven, eight three stitches away is what it feels like that actually means you're in good shape look the others become two once you wrap so yarn to the front slip yarn to the back slip back yarn to the front flip wrong side red square ten stitches one two three four five six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yarn to the front, slip, yarn to the back, slip back, yarn to the front. Right side, red square. You know what that means. Eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yarn to the front, slip, yarn to the back, slip back, yarn to the front. Flip. It's the wrong side again. We gotta do another ten. One, ah, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yarn to the front, slip, yarn to the back, slip back, yarn to the front, and 
turn. Right side, eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I am at a stitch marker. Probably means I'm done. Let's see. If I move the stitch marker and do my wrap, yarn to the front, slip, yarn to the back, slip back, yarn to the front, and turn. What I'm going to do, I'm going to count those spaces. Remember, well, not remember. I always say remember. You should have six stitches, six gaps. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Red or orange square, you will have six of them. So I am done with the red square. Let's take a look at what it looks like from the front. There's my bubble. But I'm ready, not counting this one, start with that guy, to knit however many stitches she says in the pattern to move over to where my next bubble is going to be.